Hurricane Irene is coming tomorrow. That's right. But we're prepared. Yes, we are. We've got a 10,000 watt generator here. All wired up and ready to go. But that's not enough because the basement gets water in it. Darn, I hate when that happens. So we took some extra precaution here. As of today, what are we doing? Get this problem straightened out. There we go, brand new sump ejection. Brand new French drain going in. With two inch diameter schedule 40 PVC. Not 1.5 inch. Three Zoller submersible pumps. The other one's already installed. Yeah, this basement gets wet all right, but not much longer. Okay, there's a French drain in progress. It's all hammered out. As long as we're here, we're going to replace the sanitary sewer too. And we get the place all dug up. That's how much water there is. Four relief holes drilled all the way around. Directly underneath the water heater. Right underneath the water heater. All the way around. Not one sump pit, but three. There we go, look how much water. Finding a truck stone going in, gonna have more cement. All the way around. All the way around. Some people doing the work. Look at them, look at them. Look, they're clean, their clothes are clean. And look at all this mess. Oh yeah, okay. All right, we're gonna do the follow-up video in two days when the hurricane hits. Very good. There it is. Put this on YouTube. Is your basement a complete mess? So much stuff everywhere, and so disorganized and so dirty. You don't even want to go down there. Well, this basement was worse. So the first step in making your basement a neat, organized place, and to keep your whole house neat, in fact, because you'll have so much storage when you're done with this, is to fully waterproof the basement. This is a full perimeter French drain, goes all the way around the perimeter of the basement. It's a sump pump pit, one of three. Each pit has its own pump. And this black plastic stuff is actually a membrane prevents any water from coming into the cinder block wall. Goes all the way around. And once you're done with all this, what you do is you clean out your whole entire house. Instead of throwing away all your valuable things, what you want to do is go to Home Depot or Lowe's or someplace, buy some shelving. Lots of it. See all the shelving? All the shelving was less than a thousand bucks. All these shelves. Look at all this. The entire house, literally, the entire house, literally, is completely neat now. All the kids' toys, all the spare clothes, you name it. Tax records, tools, everything. All labeled, all organized. And there's room for more. Got to make sure your basement doesn't get a drop of water before you do this. Remember that. Otherwise, your valuables get wrecked. But this is the way to do it. See if you can see this from here. There you go. That's it. An entire house full of valuables. And upstairs is totally neat and organized in every way. Every single room. Okay, there it is. How to organize your basement.